Hello and welcome to TOEFL land. My name is Kirsten. I'm so glad you are here. And um, today I want to take you through how I paraphrase. And um, I want to specifically look at how we paraphrase writing task number one. And this is a question that came from a student. And he asked me, how do I know what to paraphrase? You know, when I get to writing test one, I see this huge reading and it's time for me to type something, but I know I'm supposed to summarize. I know I'm supposed to say it differently than what the text says because we can't just copy and paste, right? That would be plagiarism. Um, so how do I know which words to put in my essay? How do I know which is important, which is not important? and how do I paraphrase it? So I wanna take you through this step by step. It is not overwhelming. It can be very, very simple, all right? The point is to kind of narrow your focus to look at only what is the most important part of the paragraph. So let's do this. We are going to look at a text together Okay, and um, I just put the intro and the first paragraph. Obviously, you will have three points in the essay, so you'll have, you know, other paragraphs to follow, but I just want to do this to start us off. And the first thing I want to do is find out what is this whole reading about? And I look at the first sentence, the introduction for that. But look what happens here. It's like while blah, 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 comma. Ooh, this is a sign that this part is not that important. Why? Because it's not the subject of the sentence. My eyes are looking for subject, verb, object. That's what I'm looking for because that's the most important. So really, my subject is there. My verb is, is evidence, mounting evidence in support of the, and here's my object here, volcanism theory. So now I know the reading is all about this volcanism theory, whatever that is, I don't know, but they're gonna tell us what it is. Okay, according to the volcanism theory, look at that, not so important. But here's what's important, dinosaur extinction, it's my subject, verb, was caused by successive and massive volcanic eruptions that took place in India. Okay, so now I know what the reading's about. It's gonna say, hey, the volcanic eruptions, the volcanoes killed the dinosaurs. And here is, some pieces of evidence, right? Pieces of evidence. So I know that what's coming up is probably three pieces of evidence, right? Because always there are three points in the reading on writing task number one. Okay, so let's look now at this paragraph and, and think to ourselves, okay, I'm on the TOEFL test. Here I'm looking at this paragraph. What are the important parts that I need to summarize? What, what do I pull out? There are three spots that I'm gonna look at. Will these always be the three spots to look at or the only the three spots to look at? No. However, they're kind of like hot spots. okay? They're gonna tell you a lot. So the first place I'm gonna look is the first sentence. First, the major eruptions of the volcanoes in the Deccan region of India would have emitted enormous gas clouds that would have resulted in climate change. Okay, so that's a big long sentence, but again, I wanna break it down. Where's my subject? Where's my verb? Where's my object? And let me take some notes. And I know you're probably already thinking, Kirsten, I can't take notes. I don't have time to take notes. What are you talking about? Taking notes is very useful for the paraphrase. Why? Because it helps us see the most important words and then we can look at our notes to actually write our sentence. And when we only look at our notes, we don't get confused, we stay focused, 
and we can simplify what the text is saying, which is the whole point of paraphrasing. Okay, so let's make this sentence simple. What's my subject? The major eruptions of the volcanoes. So I'm going to put, okay, volcanoes in India. And what did they do? They emitted, that's my verb, enormous gas clouds. So, okay, out came the gas clouds. And what did this result in? That's important too, it resulted in climate change. Okay, so those are my notes. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, I wanna read the second sentence as well because probably it's gonna tell me a little bit more detail for what's happening in the first sentence. Um, and the reason I wanna do this is just so I can get really clear on well, what is this climate change? What's actually going on? Let's find out. Gas, ash, and dust would have covered the sky and for a time prevented the sun from warming the earth. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna put that into a simple uh, kind of notes. What's my subject? Again, it's the gas, it's the clouds, it's the ash and dust. Covered the sky and for a time, ooh, here it is, prevented sun and so from warming the earth which is basically telling us the earth cooled right okay so the last place i'm gonna look because i still have to figure out well how does this you know harm the dinosaur how how do dinosaurs become extinct because of this? How do they die? So let's look at the last sentence. As a result, the food chain would have deteriorated, leaving dinosaurs with nothing to eat. Okay, so that's why they went extinct because everything else around them was dying as the planet cooled and so they also died because there was nothing for them to eat. I'm gonna write down the important parts. Food chain. Now another thing to do when you paraphrase is, you know, maybe change a few words, make it more simple for yourself, right? So maybe instead of this word deteriorated, maybe I'll say that the food chain declined. And then dinos, no food. Instead of saying nothing to eat, they just had no food. So then they, that would lead to extinction. Okay, so now it's time for me to put my notes in a couple of sentences. And I like to say that um, for point number one in the reading, anywhere from two to three sentences. If you just have two sentences of summary from the reading, that is enough. Okay, and then you would do the same thing for point number two, the same thing for point number three. Okay, so here I go. I like to start a certain way. I like to say the reading claims that. Okay, and I just want to um, give a little space here. So here are my notes. The reading claims that, and now I just go to my notes. Uh, volcanic activity. Ooh in India created gas clouds which resulted in climate change. Okay, then I'll take the next idea. These gas clouds prevented the sun from getting Maybe the sun's energy, that's another way to say it. The sun's warmth from getting to earth and the planet cooled. Okay. Um, and I have one more idea here, which I already have two sentences, but it's really important that I bring in why the dinosaurs went extinct. 
Um, so I might say in my last sentence here, um, therefore, um, the food chain decline when dinosaurs died having nothing to eat. Okay, so let's review this summary. And I know it's not the entire paragraph. It doesn't have to be the entire paragraph. I'm gonna add a comma here because Word doesn't like it when you don't have a comma before which. Um, but it's not the whole paragraph. It's not like we're summarizing every single sentence. We just take, we just take the most important ideas. So once again, the reading claims that volcanic activity in India created gas clouds, which resulted in climate change. These gas clouds prevented the sun's warmth from getting to Earth and the planet cooled. Therefore, the food chain declined and dinosaurs died having nothing to eat. Okay. So, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I know that paraphrasing can be confusing. It takes time, it takes practice. Uh, if you need any help, please visit tofoland.com. Uh, we have lots of resources there for you and to help you improve writing and really any aspect of your TOEFL um, test. And uh, I want you to know that I believe in you. I believe in your dreams. You can do this. I don't believe in a TOEFL test, but I do believe in you. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.